Hello and welcome to Draw With Me, artist Leslie Watson, as today we are going to draw Sonic and Amy. This is for Evelyn Klaus, Klaus, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but yeah, a couple of videos ago you commented and said you wanted a Sonic and Amy picture, so here it is, hopefully it's to your liking and you're drawing along, so yeah, let's get into this. So as always, we start off with the two circles, but I put in a wee bit of the uh, wee semicircle there as well for Amy's hair, and done the cross lines for the eye, you know, cross the eye line and down the face. And I started working on Amy first just because she was more into the foreground, and then worked on Sonic there as well. And don't forget the wee ears are just like fox's ears. Now kind of the basic same rules apply for Sonic and Amy, you know, they're kind of the same kind of shape and stuff because the artwork is the same kind of style. Now as you can see I'm already starting on where I'm going to place the hands and whatnot. And yeah, and they're just like big sausages as I always say. And I start putting in where I'm going to put the body lines and stuff like that. Because Amy's got a wee dress on, it was a bit more different from doing the Sonic. But yeah, still fun. So yeah, if don't forget if the video is going too fast while you're uh, drawing, don't forget you can always pause, uh, you know, to catch up. And yeah, you'll notice as well. I always kind of change wee bits and pieces and you know, rub wee things out and whatnot. There's another thing as well. Whenever you're doing Amy's eyes, don't forget and put the, uh, the wee eyelashes there as well, because it's a main trait in comics or you know animation and whatnot the female characters have these big long eyelashes just to make them look more feminine now you'll notice as well i kind of uh, didn't do one of amy's hands i just let it trail off the page it's something quite a lot of comic book artists do because they work inside well mostly inside the panels Now you probably tell as well that I'm actually working down the page, uh, you know, doing everything in the foreground, uh, foreground, and then kind of more in the middle ground. Not so much the background, but the middle ground, you know, in perspective. I'm working down the page instead of you know working you know from right to left where you're smudging things and you know. Uh, so it's a good kind of trait to have if you can work from like left to right or and down the page as it does mean you're not going over yourself and not you run the risk of like smudging your work as well not that at all kind of really matters whenever you're going to be rubbing things out whenever you're inking and whatnot but for more pencil work etc you can you know it's it's a good trait to have if you are working from like the top left down to the bottom right if you're right handed that is if you're left handed then go the other way anyway now you can see me coming into the inking phase and again my camera did that uh, strange thing where i decided to put my filter onto it where yeah it comes out a bit more uh contrasty but again very cool so anyway, I'll leave you to enjoy me just thinking over everything.
And now my favorite part, me rubbing everything out. Now you'll notice also if you are rubbing everything out, you still see sort of where the lines were. were. If you'd done certain shading and whatnot, that you know where the shading's instantly going to be. So it always comes in a wee bit hand there if you, you know, do rub all your guidelines out. Uh, but you kind of already know where that shading is going to be. So yeah, for the colouring, I literally mix between my uh, Windsor & Newton uh, Pro Markers and my Sharpies. And yeah, I didn't over exaggerate the dark, you know, the dark shades with Sonic. I thought that, uh, basically, I'm sorry, but I got a bit lazy. Uh, but yeah, I kept all the shading and everything in there as well. And when it did come to doing the gold parts on the Lexisonic shoe and Amy's uh, bracelets, or, uh, or the wrist gauntlets, uh, so yeah, I kind of went with a big uh, metallic gold marker as well as just a normal uh, yellow one as well which I thought came out quite well and again I put in a lot of shading whenever I do come into the inking phase as well you can do this if you know you are just doing the black and white versions and whatnot So there we go, that was Sonic and Amy and Evelyn uh, requested this in the comments. So there you go, I hope, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to like, share, tell your friends uh, and hit me up on all the social medias and show me what you've been drawing. And yeah, so I've been really enjoying this. I'm gonna keep this going for a wee while and yeah, I'm really enjoying just drawing and having you guys check it out. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification and stay safe and have fun guys. Thanks.